Hey guys, it's Hi. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hey. Okay, listen. We're gonna start off this video straight into it because long intros are annoying. <laughs> Let me learn how to like actually be a respectable human being. Um, but today we're gonna be talking about when you can stop affirming. Um, as always, we're gonna be pulling an oracle card. It's a manifestation oracle card from Moonology. Um, but. In this video, we are gonna be talking about when do you stop affirming? Do you have to keep affirming once you have your desire? Like, do you stop the immediate second you get your desire or do you keep going? So I'm gonna help you guys out with that. But right now I'm gonna be picking an Oracle card. If it resonates, it resonates. If it doesn't, that is totally okay. You do not have to, you know, you know, yeah. <laughs> Why does this video seem so weird? I started this video out so weird. Anyways, here's a, here's a card, ready? Last quarter moon in Scorpio, reveal what needs to be seen. Let me read it for you guys. Reveal what needs to be seen. There are some things that, <laughs> why did I fucking read that? Like, like I'm, in my, I'm in my theater phase again. Anyways, there are some things that people just don't like to talk about. Drawing this card suggests there's an issue or situation in your life that might not be easy to air. Or perhaps you feel that you shouldn't air it out. That's fine. Now is the time for you to reveal only what you want to be seen. Don't feel the need to discuss everything with everyone. So stop, like, okay, listen. I don't think it's bad to tell people what you're manifesting, what your desires are and stuff like that, but maybe you might be telling the wrong person and they might be like putting a bit of negativity in your life. So just be aware of that. Anyways, um, today we're gonna be talking about, you already know, Today we're gonna to be talking about you already know. So let's let's give an example. Say you're manifesting an an SP, because this is this is a situation where it's very hard to like know if you should keep affirming. So you manifest an SP, they're conformed, you're dating them, or they have a crush on you. Now do you like stop affirming? Like when they start to like you, do you stop? This is what I say. Affirm when you feel it's right. And I know it's very vague, but I will explain a little bit more. But when you are like trying to manifest an SP and they start to start like you, you know, you probably want to continue to affirm because just because they like you doesn't mean they have committed completely yet, you know? Like you want to be in a committed relationship with them. You need to, like you want that. So that's a situation where you would keep affirming, you know? But say you and your SP are basically dating, everything's fine. Like it's basically fully conformed you don't necessarily have to affirm anymore and i'll tell you why if you go up to someone say you're manifesting big lips okay i explained this so bad so we're re-explaining it right now so say you're manifesting big lips when you are affirming for something you are basically lying to yourself telling yourself you have something so it shows up in your reality okay so the reason you're affirming is because you're not seeing it. And the reason you are affirming lies is because you want those lies to manifest, you know? So when you're looking in the mirror and you're affirming, I have big lips, I have big lips, and your lips aren't there yet, you are affirming that because you don't see it and you want to see it. But say you have manifested big lips, your lips are the size you want them to be. When you look in the mirror, you don't have to lie anymore because you are see the lip size you want so that being said the assumption's already going to be there that your lips are that size you're not going to have to like revise and affirm and stuff like that because they're already that size so every time you look in the mirror it's just going to reaffirm the size of your lips are big you know i hope that makes i hope that makes more sense now that doesn't mean you can't continue to affirm for it you can continue to affirm for it for however the hell long you want you know but you don't have to it's not necessary to continue to affirm after you have your desire you can loosely affirm that's what i do like if i'm manifesting money and i get money i'll still lightly affirm after that and i'll use me getting the money as a placebo actually so i'll be like oh i just got so much money of course i'm gonna get more because this is a consistent thing so i actually use it as a placebo and affirm a little bit more but that's totally optional you don't have to do that it's just reminding yourself that all your thoughts create so no matter when you have your desire or how long it takes you to get your desire or if you want to affirm once you have your desire your thoughts are going to continue to create so if you have your desire and you stop affirming and start stressing about the 3d or stressing about what could happen or what could go wrong that's still going to happen even if you correctly manifest it so no matter what keep your thoughts in check only think thoughts you want to manifest and that's all you have to do but that is it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed i hope i explained this well um but if you guys have any questions make sure to ask them down below and i will get back to you make sure to like make sure to comment make sure to subscribe as always watching this video has helped you manifest say it with me watching this video has helped me manifest watching this video has helped me manifest and i'll see you soon